Time to play with some clay. Continuing on with the face. I decided to put a small mustache on. It was kind of like the style. Around the turn of the century. Not a big mustache, just a, a good one. I want to kind of have him looking down at the cup. <laughs> I don't like that.
I'm going to put the head back on. For now. Because quite honestly, I'm not going to finish that head until I get a little further along. I think I've got it to where I like it. At least the facial features. I just got to work those eyes a little bit more. And I'm going to move that arm out there like that. Okay. I'm going to start building up the body. So that I can... Uh, eventually put that uh, the clothes on them and stuff like that and then put the blanket or serape on him yes i broke out the uh large mannequin i think it might be just a little bit big <laughs> for my table here right now but it is what it is <laughs> anyway Yeah, it's a little overkill. I'm going to have to move this guy. He's going to be in the way. I moved the uh, hand down. I thought that uh, it might be too much to have it up there in front of his face. Or close to it. Again, I'm not making him muscular. Just... Lean and mean. You can have a lot of muscles, but it doesn't always mean that you're tough. It just means you got more muscles. If you ever watch Survivor or any of those shows where they do physical contests, the guys with the most muscles don't last as long as the people who are lean because they got to hold up the weight of all that muscle and they don't move as quite as fast as somebody who's a little bit lean now I'm not going to put any detail in this arm at all because that's going to be completely covered Now this part of the leg is going to show, the upper part's not. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and fill in between the legs because I'm going to have to do it eventually anyway. Because that blanket's going to be draped over his shoulder there. I'm looking at the uh, photograph I took yesterday of the uh, cloth over the uh, sculpture to figure out where exactly I'm going to have that, uh, how far down that robe is going to come. Or the... All right, that's going to have to do it for today, and I'll pick this up tomorrow and see how far I can get. I'd like to get the uh, clothing started so I can start working on that uh, serape that's going to be going over his shoulder. Or over his shoulders. Good night, everybody. See you next time. Have a great night.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.